was the navigator in a Wellington bomber. The Wellington crashed, went up in flames, and uh, three of the crew were killed, and myself and two others survived. I was able to get out through the top of the aircraft, and a uh, bit difficult getting out through there. That's uh, why my hands got fairly badly burned, because um, by that time the, the metal was a bit hot. Archibald McIndoe was one of only four plastic surgeons at that stage within the, within the country as a whole, and he chose East Grinstead Hospital um, to come and work, and gradually they started to learn more about how best to manage particularly the air crew who'd had very major burns. Our injuries, hands and face, were known as Ehrman's burn because it was the exposed parts which used to get the, um, the burns. And I mean, we weren't a very pleasant sight when we were first burned. If we went up to London at all in uh, the minibus we had, there were crowds forming, peering in at us, and uh, one woman was heard to say, oh, they shouldn't let them out. They appointed Archibald McIndoe in 1938 as chief consultant surgeon to the RAF. McIndoe came out with new practices which hadn't been tried before, and I say that's why we turned ourselves the guinea pigs. They used to lift the skin up and join it up as a tube so the blood was running freely in there again and after three weeks they detach one end of it and put it up to the top of your nose like a trunk. So then they used to um, shape the nose from it and I had my nose and upper lip done. 